the Ghost Zapper Maiden is next. Now, this is a two mile, one furlong Maiden chase, and we've got a field of just four. Uh, at the top, we've got Dallister for Martin Dillon, Link Sydney for Matt Cooper, Queenie Sapphire for David Robertson, and the other one for Joshua Sutherland. A uh, field of four, then. Again, another one that's going to be tricky with Andy Capper. She's got one from the Monster Stable. One of the monster stables in there, the Joshua Southern, as they jump away. And then you've got two stables that are what you call just outside the top five. They get to the first. Damister wasn't foot perfect. And then you've got one from a relative newbie. So he's got a couple of fallers or something, or even one faller. If Joshua Southern's horse falls, how on earth do you handicap it? Oh, and there's one gone. It's Queenie Sapphire that's gone. So maybe me talking about it there. Put the garbage on that. Sorry to David Robertson. And. Um, that is going to make it interesting because we now expect them to finish in the order that they're in at the moment, I would think. But it's the other one who's in the lead as they get to the water. Damest is over it in second and Lynx Sydney is third. I suppose a fascinating thing with these sort of races with just a few runners in. If, if you get a situation like this where Josh or Leon's got one in and it falls over, it really does give the opportunity to somebody who might not expect to win a big I know these are just maidens this week but it's going to come a time in the season when they these are big races that we're only really got four in as they get over the fourth and one or two people I think are going to pick up some unexpected big wins this season when the big guns can avoid each other because there's so few horses and as we've seen they do every season they topple over quite a lot the big ones and um some, some people might pick up some good prizes so I'm sure Matt Cooper who's been in quite a few three and four races this week will be eyeing up some prizes later in the season and thinking he can snatch a big one and I think he's got every chance but it's the other one who's clearing the lead at the minute by about three lengths or so to Damister in second and then Link Sydney is back in third as they get over that one Damister was slow again that's the second time but that one's been ponderous at the fence The other one into the eighth and clear over it. Damister jumped it really nicely that time. Uh, Link Sydney jumping well in third as well as they begin to close on the lead. It really ought to be a penalty kick this for Josh as they come down towards the next. The other one is in the lead. Uh, Damister second. Lynx Sydney third. Over the ninth they go again, Damister a bit slow. The other one is the leader. As they head towards home. The other one's probably six, seven, eight lengths clear now. Damister second and Link Sydney third. The order's not changed at all since David Ross saw fell and Damister nearly went again there. One's really gonna have to brush up his jumping if he's gonna be a contender. This season won one of the trials races earlier before the season started, but it doesn't look like he's a goer on today's form. Uh, the other one's in the lead, then well clear with just a couple to get over. Damister and Link Sydney on uh, second and third, some way back as they get over the second last. And uh, once again, Damister slow, and the other one is so far clear, barring a fall at the last. It's going to be another one in the bank for Joshua Sutherland. Skips over it nicely, gets away from it well. Damister and Link Sydney get over it well as well and it's in another procession race as they race up towards the line and the other one and they win it quite easily well, Damister put in a poor round of jump in second and Lynx Sydney back in third so there it is then the other one Joshua Sutherland wins it Damister Martin Lynx second Link Sydney for Matt Cooper third